coach, uh, team came back out of the icebreaker with a, the split, dropped the first one to Providence, but bounced back on Saturday. I guess your, your overall thoughts on the, the weekend and what you take out of that entering this uh, kind of home stretch the, these next two weeks. Uh, I thought we did a lot of good things on the weekend. Um, you know, uh, the, the Providence game, I thought our, our start was fantastic. Uh, first seven minutes, uh, we didn't allow them a shot on net. I thought we had a couple of great scoring chances. Um, you know, I thought hockey played well for them in net and made some big saves. And um, sometimes when you don't score on some of your chances early, uh, they come down and get, um, you know, a couple of goals right off the bat. But, um, you know, I, I thought we settled into the game against Providence. Um, there wasn't much going on for either team um, in the second period. And I thought the third period, uh, we did some good things again. And uh, it was one of those games that just uh, uh, no one was generating anything. Um, and then they got a power play goal uh, late in an empty netter. But, um, but I thought we learned a lot about our team, uh, especially some of the things we were doing with the puck that we can't do against good teams. Uh, so we corrected some of those things. I thought we did a, a much better job on Saturday against Mercyhurst, who's a very skilled, fast team. Uh, they come to you in waves and uh, extremely good power play. And, um, you know, if there was one bright, really bright spot for our team, our PK did a great job on the weekend. So um, all in all, it was uh, first time we were on the road. Um, I thought our guys did a nice job of bouncing back and, and learning the lessons that we need to learn here in the early stages. You said before one of your main focuses was channeling the energy going into these games. What was your impression of the team's energy going into the weekend? Uh, you know, it's a tough tough thing to, to play in when you're playing the 4 o'clock game and you're not the host institution and you're not playing against the host institutions. It's it's a little bit of a dead building. Uh, but that was that's true for both teams. And, we you know, we had to – kind of generate our own energy. And I thought we did that early. I thought we did a really good job of that against Providence. And, um, you know, it was, uh, uh, it was just a reminder that we're not quite there yet. You know, we have to continue to work and some of the, the details that we're talking about uh, over the last couple of weeks and some of the things that we've been working on. So um, all in all, again, we bounced back Saturday. So I thought that was, well, you know, we felt that that was a really important uh, step in our, our process of learning here. Um, and now we can come home and uh, we got a good stretch of a couple of weeks here where we can practice and actually not have to shorten things up because of travel. Um, by saying you learned a lot after the first game against Providence, what are some adjustments that you made from that game going into Saturday night? The biggest thing I think is is your your awareness. Um, you know, the, the, as much as we've talked about turning the puck over, and managing the puck and managing the game properly. Um, when you play a team like Providence that's well structured and have played in some big games and, and their guys understand that, you know, they're not going to beat themselves. You have to go and earn it. And our guys were trying to, you know, make things happen out of nothing. And that's when good teams bounce, you know, pounce on you um, because they're patient. Um, when you play good teams, you have to be patient. You have to outweight them, and you have to do everything equally as good. And at some point, something's going to give, and and we get that. But you don't want to give any opportunities that are unnecessary. And, you know, and I guess in other sports, they're unforced errors. Um, and so for us, it was a big lesson. I think you have to manage the puck, uh, and you have to be aware of your surroundings, especially defensively, because. They do a great job of going to the net, and um, you got to pick up sticks, and you you can't give them an inch because they'll take, you know, a foot. Um, and so I think that's the biggest thing that we we got out of that uh, game. Um, obviously, everybody would like to win, but um, you know, I thought we learned a lot from from playing them. In a similar vein, what are you working on moving forward when Providence plays a similar game to your conference opponents? Again, I think just being structured and managing the puck. Special teams have to be good. Our power play is still not where it needs to be. Uh, our PK is getting there and, and doing a nice job. Um, but your awareness with and without the puck has to be within your structure, whatever that may be. Uh, we're not going to get into how we uh, do that. But, uh, but if you stay in your structure 
and your discipline. Um, I don't want to say that you're, you're outweighting them, but you're patient in what we're doing and you stay focused to, to the game plan. Um, then you're, you're going to earn it uh, as opposed to trying to make thing out of, make things out of nothing. And you just mentioned it, but how do you want to see the power play improve? We got to get pucks to the net. You know, we, 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 we did a pretty good job of possessing it. I thought we did a pretty good job of getting opportunities, but we're, you know, th- shooting pucks 10 feet in the air over the net. Uh, you know, we weren't getting traffic in front of the net. Uh, we weren't getting a second opportunity. So um, just it's not a personnel thing or anything like that. It's just a little bit uh, being a little bit more determined. That's all. Kind of on the topic of personnel, but the new guys were kind of quiet on the score sheet this weekend. What were your thoughts on how they played their second weekend of collegiate hockey? I, I thought, you know, we had some really good opportunities. Uh, uh, I'm trying to think of, think back at all our scoring chances. I thought our, our, our young guys did a nice job. I thought our decor, our young decor, did a nice job of uh, uh, handling the pressure and, and the, the game speed and the, the physicalness that Providence played with and the speed that Mercyhurst played with. Uh, we put Andrew Sennard in for the first time. I thought he did a nice job. Um, I thought our forwards handled themselves really well in terms of, you know, battling. And, um, you know, I, a couple of them had really good scoring chances, just didn't bury the puck. But, um, you know, pretty soon I'm going to say they're not first-year guys anymore. Uh, they've played enough games now. They know what to expect and how to play and, and how to compete at this level. Having faced UMass Lowell a, a ton in the program's history, last time you faced them was the NCAA tournament several years uh, ago. W- what do you expect to see out of this this group uh, that's ha- achieved a good amount of success over the last uh, six seven years uh, coming into your building? Yeah, it's uh, you know they're they're very similar to Providence, uh, well structured, well coached, uh, physical. Uh, we're going to have to earn every inch of. Uh, space on the ice Um, we have to be equally structured uh, high compete level so we're going to have to match the compete level Um, and then always you know you got to make sure you're good on special teams so uh, the preparation that we had for Providence and and the things that we saw in Providence you're going to see this weekend in in, uh, uh, UMass Lowell.